Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm back from the National, and we're going to recap everything that I picked up. I've got a whole bunch of stuff, can't even fit it all on the screen right here. All together, I did the math. I spent just a hair over $5,000. It was a grand total of $5,045 that I spent, not including all of the mystery packs that I picked up. I'll tally those up separately in their own separate video, and we'll open those up maybe for Mystery Box Monday in a couple days. So stay tuned for that. We got a little more national footage coming with those mystery packs coming up soon. Thanks to everybody that watched all of our national footage in the first two days. I was only able to be out there for two days, but I found, uh, I think, some great stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I picked up right now. So we've got a massive stack right here. We've got a stack right here as well. These are both from the same set. We'll start off with the small stacks first and get those out of the way. I picked up a Clayton Kershaw rookie. You can see right there. Uh, I was in the market for a Kershaw PSA 10 of his 2008 Tops update, but I did not see one. So unfortunately, I had to cross that one off my list. That was the number two card that I had on my targeted list going into the National, the PSA 10, that I did not find. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to buy that card right there. And then uh, this is the next little stack. I bought this on day one of the National. I found some Ronald Acuna Jr. rookies. I think altogether these equaled out to 105, and I got them for 80. I offered him 80 bucks, and he took it. You can see there's the black border parallel. They're all rookie cards. There's the Archives rookie from 2018. And another black background. These can be, I think, three different colors, black, blue, or red, or it can just be a white blank background legends in the making so Acuna likely going to be the MVP I figured I got to grab his rookie cards while I can before the Otani effect sets in and his cards skyrocket like Otani's have and Acuna's obviously are up to a little bit all right moving on to the next stack let's do our dollar box I only rated one dollar box since time was of the essence there this, this is all the cards that I picked up from the dollar bin there was 31 here and uh, I think I got it for like 30 bucks. So I knocked the buck off, got a card free. Adam Wainwright, couple Stadium Club rookie cards. And when I'm looking through dollar boxes, I don't really care about refractors or prism refractors unless they're rookies of notable players. There you see Corey Seager. I mostly focus on rookie cards. Manny Machado, rookie for a buck. Luis Robert, rookie from Chronicles for a dollar. There's Yvonne Rodriguez, 91 Flare Update, rookie for a buck. A first Bowman Chrome of Aroldis Chapman. Hoy Soler, Refractor Rookie, and a Prism Refractor Rookie card right there. We got Vladdy. Always will buy our Vladdy Rookies for a dollar, whether they're the base rookie or the home run derby variation or not. Pete Alonso, Rookie cards for a buck as well. I was thinking, man, I probably missed out on a bunch of those from day one because I picked these up on day two when I was getting low on money. There's Ozzy Abbey's Rookie card. Another Seager Rookie. Another Seager Rookie card. A Cody Bellinger Raking rookies, insert card there. And then there's a couple George Springer rookie cards, the rookie debuts. Randy Rose ran a chrome rookie for a buck. Coy Seeger, the rookies, and rated rookie from Optic for a dollar. Hey, Randy Johnson, he's a Hall of Famer, so why not go with a Hall of Fame rookie from 89 Top Traded for a dollar? Then Bo Bichette rookie cards for a buck as well. All right, moving on to the next stack. We might as well get this big stack done right here. These came from Niagara Cards. I think this was about $450. They knocked $50 off. So about $400 in here. And he had a whole bunch of Acunas. And I, the prices, I'll tell you what, he was the only guy I found that was selling Acunas for $5 per rookie. Now, they're not all $5, but there is some in there for 5 bucks. There you see the you know tougher one to find, Tops Tech for 20 Crusade for 10 He had a whole stack of these, and I went through and I bought almost all of them. See the gold label rookie card right there? There's the Topps Holiday Rookies. And then a lot of these rookie cards were in one touches. And I'm like, geez, that's, you know, the one touch alone is worth at least a couple bucks. So we have Ronald Acuna Jr.'s with the one touches, a $5 rookie card from Heritage, rookie performer set with the one touch. And we'll continue on to see what else we have. They're all just going to be Acuna rookie cards. I stocked up. There's the 2018 update rookie debut rookie card. And you got a bunch of the Chronicles rookies in here from 2018 as well. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. So figured why not we'll grab that one. That's the Topps Online exclusive. Another Topps Holiday. I see some more Chronicles. There's the Chrome for 10. 
We've got the Prestige for 10 and a one touch holiday. There's the Tops Fire. And then we've got the Allen and Ginter right there as well. Allen and Ginter will be coming out soon. What else do we have here? More. I got, I got, didn't buy a PSA graded card, which I'll show you as well. And I was like, why not? That seems like a decent price. I love the 83 Acuna rookie card. Always enjoy the 83 set. So, by the way, these were all from Niagara Cards. Check them out. And uh, they actually said they watched the channel. I was like, mind if I film the cards I'm buying here for YouTube? He's like, sure thing. And uh, it's like, what's your YouTube channel? I'm like, Judge. He's like, oh, I'm already subscribed to you. So I don't think it was Chris that waited on me, but uh, he had a bunch of helpers there. So one of his helpers checked out the channel. Shout out to you. And then the last one that we had tossed in there was the Ricky Henderson rookie card, which I basically, I think, got this for free. I think my total basically knocked off 50 bucks. It's a PSA 3. He had a $50 price tag on it. Recently, comps on this one were anywhere from like low 40s to like mid 50s. So his prices were pretty fair. And uh, so basically not a free Ricky Henderson out of it in a PSA 3 rookie card. Love that card. I'll buy that all day, every day. Let's see what else we have. There's no wriggle room on these or no wiggle room on these. The Otanis, nobody wanted to give any. So I had $280 that I was spending for John Cashman. I spent two seventy five dollars of it. So I, I'm going to send him an extra hobby pack or two with these. The extra five bucks I didn't spend, but so he wanted uh, me to pick up some Otani rookies. So I went for the Series 2 rookie card, which is, you know, the main rookie. And then we've got the Topps Update rookie card there as well. And then we got the PSA 10. This one was $200, and they did not want to budge. And I'd seen a couple more of these early in the day for $240. At least the $240 was the price tag on there. $240, $220, $200 was the cheapest I saw. And I wasn't happy with paying that, but I wanted to come home with something for John Cashman. Uh, you can get those online comping out around one mid 160s to 170. So some Otanis, I'll be sending those off to John with his team breaks coming up. Next up, we have some really, really nice Juan Sotos right here. And unfortunately, this seller only took cash because he had a Mike Trout. He had the lowest price to Mike Trout that I found. The PSA 10 of his 2011 Tops Update rookie card. It was at 1500 bucks cash. But I just bought the Roberto Clemente, which I'll show you in a minute. So I moved on when I, when I saw these Sotos. I was like, wow, you got a whole stack of Sotos there. Can I see them? And uh, he had an entire big stack of them. So 100 bucks on five PSA 10 Sotos. It's his rookie card from 2018 Update, the rookie debut version. I looked up the comps online. These are going for at least 50% more than 20 bucks, so 30, 30 bucks or so. And Soto's having a good year. His OPS is up in the 920s right now. People are, he's getting overshadowed from that class by Otani and Nakunia, that rookie class of 2018. But, you know, I think, uh, I think that's a great investment. $20 for a PSA 10. I'll take that all day, every day. And then I told this story already. Look at this. We have PSA 10 Juan Soto Golds. I just, my jaw just about dropped when I saw them because, as you know, I love PSA 10 Gold Sotos so much. You probably know that because I bought two more off of eBay last month and now I have four of them. So the story goes, and I was a little concerned about this at first, I bought these two. Nobody was bidding on them. They were $100 a piece, and nobody wanted to bid on them because they were coming from, I think, Taiwan, somewhere in Asia. And I think there was a lot of you know, people sketched out that they you know, might not receive the cards. So I took a flyer on it. I threw a bid in there. They were $100. I threw a bid in of like $120 or something like that with a you know, few seconds left. And I think the, another, another person bid on them too with a couple seconds left, but I won both of them for, I think, $102 and like $118 or something like that. So when I went to put an offer on these, the seller, to much to my surprise, he went on eBay and he looked at recently sold PSA 10s of card number 104. And guess what he saw? Those two that I just picked up last month. So he comped off of the cards that I already bought, which I thought I got a fantastic deal on. He's like, well, they're going for about just a little over 100, so 100 bucks a piece. And I was like, all right, I'll take them. So I took those and I was like, can I take these and all your Sotos? It's 300 bucks. Can you maybe knock off 20 bucks? And he did that, and I thought that was a fantastic deal. So, Soto's, I'm a big believer in Soto. Soto, Acuna, and Otani, and I love gold rookie cards, PSA 10s. That's kind of my thing right now, which you'll see another PSA 10 rookie card that I picked up here in a minute. 
Let's move this bulky box out of the way and we'll take a look at this. It's the 89 Upper Deck Low Series box and I'm actually kicking myself for not buying a bunch more of these. I probably should have bought like 10 of these and maybe offered him a bulk discount of, and I don't know, asked, hey, would you do like $3.35 a box if I bought 10? I bet you he would have. Every other seller I saw at the National was selling these for about $450. I think even the baseball card exchange, which authenticated this box, had them for $459. This is the low series, which is better. They have a low series and a high series. The low series has less cards that they pull from. You don't have to deal with the high series cards, so the chances of finding the Griffey are better. That's why the low series ones are worth more money. And this is the from a sealed case. It was just freaking cracked open, too. So this is brand new, fresh. And I am uh, very, very uh, disappointed. And he even took PayPal. So I think at the time I was just thinking, how am I going to get a bunch of these boxes back home? Because uh, I flew and I only had, a, you know, I had my backpack and I had a carry on. I didn't, I knew I wouldn't be able to fit it all in there if I bought a whole case. I didn't want to ship them home, but I, I probably would have been worth it. That's a great deal. We'll be looking for the Griffey Jr. rookie card in those boxes in a, a very upcoming, very soon throwback thursday and that psa 10 if you get the griffey in a psa 10 it is worth two grand so i was thinking all right i could probably pull griffey like on average 1.5 griffies per box if i would have bought 10 griffies that's 15 griffies right there for what 33 to 35 hundred dollars if i just pulled two tens sold those i'd make four grand and then already be you know in the green so i'm i don't know the wheels were turning right there after the fact We'll move on to the next one here. We have, I, this is one of my favorite pickups of the National. I really wanted to get this Pete Alonso gold rookie card, and I was able to work out a deal, so I basically got it for nothing. So this set here was, I think it was like 550. It's a partial set. And what I did was I went through it, and I was just like, it's pretty nice. Can I take a look at it? And I went through and made sure all the big cards were there, and they were. Now, this the grading on these cards, it's a VG, so most of these cards would grade out to probably like a between PSA 2, 3, 4, maybe some 5s. Uh, some of the cards have maybe some little creases there. You see the Clemente. That's Clemente's final ever card. But I figured this would be a nice one. We haven't done any set breaks in some time for Team Break Tuesday. Not Team Break Tuesday. Team Break Tuesday is on my mind. It's coming up in a couple days. I'll be putting that for sale tomorrow on Patreon. But for Throwback Thursday, sometimes I would buy complete sets and I would just pack them pack them up with one Hall of Famer like that Hank Aaron per pack and then with all the other commons and break up a set that way. We did that with 1960. I think we also did that with 1955 tops as well. I'd like to do that, you know, maybe every couple months would be kind of cool. There's the Pete Rose. So the, uh, the appeal here was that you have all the Hall of Famers in here. He said all of the remaining cards were commons. And I was like, all right, so I can probably get this set put together. So I wanted to go and I wanted to check out the Mike Schmidt rookie card. That's the number one card in the set, and I'll show it to you here. It's way back here in the 600s. I can't remember the exact number, but it's 600-something. There's a Reggie Jackson, which is a very nice early card. Unfortunately, that checklist card is checked. So let's get back to the Schmidt. And so I paid a little bit more for this set because I had him swap out the Schmidt with a better Schmidt. Because he saw that, you know, sometimes when, when you really want something, you just have to put on the, you have to put on the game face. Like, like the, oh man, I wish I would buy it if not for this. And he saw me just kind of grimacing at the condition of the Schmidt that was in the set. And I'll tell you, the Schmidt that was in the set would probably grade out to a 1.5 maybe at best. There was, you know, rounded corners. There was what looked like a pen mark across the middle of it. Like somebody had put a piece of paper and just drew a line. There was a, like a deep indentation across the card. So I had him swap it out for a much better condition Mike Schmidt rookie card. You can see this one is, uh, he gave me his best condition Schmidt that he had with him. And, uh, you know, I paid a little bit more, went from 550 up to 640 I was like, how about we do the set? throw in the better Schmidt and toss in the Alonzo. And I talked to him about the Alonzo gold right here, which I just had to have. I said, that Alonzo, I see you got 180 on it and I'm looking at recently sold. The most recent sold went for 142. So, you know, I'd be at 140, 150 on that card. And um, so 
he like added it all up. He's like, okay, five fifty plus one, you know, one fifty on the Alonso plus the add on for the Schmidt. And we worked out a deal. We hammered out a deal for six hundred and forty dollars cash for the set with the Mike Schmidt upgraded card. And uh, man, I couldn't be happier. So I have to finish off this set. I did go over to another vintage, you know, common seller, and I was able to knock out maybe 10 or so of the commons that weren't in the set and put those together. I'm still missing, I think, four. And one of them's the uh, Dwight Evans rookie card. And I, I had it in my stack. I almost bought it, and uh, I put it back. It was $22 was the cheapest I found it for. It was a little off condition. I was like, you know what? I've got a bunch of 73s at my house. I might even have that one, so I just need to find those uh, find those 73 cards and see if I have that one. If not, I'll go and buy it on eBay. Put it in the set, and we'll get this set finished off. Still missing 556, 569, 588, and 614, it looks like. And also, it looks like 641 down there as well. I need. So, I'm missing five cards. Complete that set, and uh, we'll do that in a throwback Thursday very soon. So, I thought that would be fun. Always when I go to the National, I want to find stuff for myself. I want to find some stuff that, you know, I can maybe sell off and try to make back a little bit of the money that I spent in going out to the National. It's not cheap. I spent, I think, about a thousand bucks in transportation costs. We're talking about round trip airplane, which was like, you know, I think that was about 450 bucks. Hotel, which is uh, about 200, and then renting a car, which is, you know, pretty expensive as well for a few days with gas and everything. And but it, it adds up, and uh, you know, figure maybe auction a couple of these cards off, keep some for myself. Now the big card that I kept for myself is the Clemente, which I'll show you in a second. But before that, I've got this big old bag right here, which I paid about $700 for. Filled this bad boy up, and all these cards caught my eye on the first day. And I was like, well, let's see what we've got here. Let's go through and, you know, I figured I'd get a bunch of these and maybe knock 50 bucks off. And some, there's some nice cards in here. There's an Aaron Judge rookie card from Diamond Kings. The Griffey rookie, man, I really screwed up a couple of nationals ago. Somebody had literally hundreds of these cards for five dollars a piece i passed on them there's wade boggs rookie for six we've got his 83 tops cards for eight the gwyn rookie for 10 more gwyn rookies these are fantastic prices most of the time i see these gwyn rookies selling for a minimum of at least 20 not even in as good condition mcguire rookie more gwyn's joey Votto rookie card future hall of fame right there in my opinion for three dollars a piece he had a bunch of them so I bought them all. There's a Juan Soto rookie for five bucks. And we have a metallic snowflake parallel of Vladdy for five. I would have paid even more for that. I think I did see another one in there for eight, which I picked up. A Griffey 89 score traded for five dollars is a good deal. O'Neill Cruz 2016 tops. Had to grab that one. You got Pete Alonso's first, along with Roger Clemens rookie card, another O'Neill Cruz. There's the Maddox 87 tops traded for five. There's Xander Bogart, not Bogarts. There's Raffy. Raffy for five dollars. Like Raffi, that's his Topps Chrome rookie card. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Also, some more Red Sox rookies with more Clemens. We've got Machado for five. This bow card was the cheapest bow I've, I saw at the National. I saw it a couple times. The second cheapest price I saw it for was $20. So that was an absolute steal. Another Wade Boggs rookie for five. Greg Maddox rookie for five. Fleer update. Joey Votto tops. 08 tops. There's Max Scherzer on the trade block. They just worked out a deal for him going to the Rangers. All he has to do is approve it. Adam Wainwright was in there. I was like, why isn't there a price on that? And they're like, well, I think that might just be from the dollar bin, which was absolutely insane. So I grabbed that one. Then we have a bunch of Bo Bichette first Bowman's for $2. More Joey Votto rookies for $3 a piece. All the cards in there range from like $3 to $10. $10 Acuna. Derek Jeter, 93 score rookie for 10 More Acunas. For ten dollars a piece, there's jo Joey Votto again. Had to grab them all. Kirby Puckett for five bucks. Greg Maddox for four. Juan Soto. I don't think I've seen this card that often, so I had to grab his Heritage Miners card right there. That's an early one, 2017 Heritage Miners Juan Soto. Pretty cool card right there. More Clemens and saw all these Derek Jeters. I'm almost curious to kind of peel back some of these prices and see what did he have this listed at. I didn't do it at the National, but I was thinking, I wonder if I could do that at home. Was this, did he drop the price on this down from 20? Oh, it looks like it was 15 or yeah, I think that he did have a 15 on there and he dropped it down to 10 trying to move all these Jeters and he did. He got me to take them. 
And then we've got the iconic Michael Jordan 94 rookie class cards. Another Tony Gwynn rookie card right there. Bo Bichette. There's the Metallic Snowflake Parallel rookie of Vladdy. Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Ronald Acuna Jr. Tops now rookie card. Another Metallic Snowflake. Derek Jeter 93 select. Had a bunch of Sandberg rookies, and I bought all the Boggs, Sandbergs, and Gwyns that I could find. And I checked the cards out. I was looking, Some of them were a little bit off. Either off condition or banged up a little bit. I put those back. I took the good ones. Roy Holiday rookie card. Freddie Freeman rookie card. You don't see the opening day one that often, so I had to grab that one. Then here's a bunch of Sandbergs and Gwyns. Derek Jeter, 93 upper deck rookie cards for 10. More Sandbergs and Gwyns. More Bo Bichette's, who's just I don't, speechless. Bo Bichette's, he's awesome. Leading the league and hits the last three years. And then I went a little bit hog wild with the Sandberg rookies from 83 Fleer. Aaron Judge rookies for six. Some more Wade Boggs rookie cards. And, yeah, so all of this, I, you don't see the 92 upper deck prospect Jeter card almost ever, so I had to grab that one as well. All that for about 700 bucks. Very, very nice. I thought that was a great deal for all that stuff. And then here's the last one. The big card that I picked up was the Clemente. Not a huge fan of putting the price tag on the card. I didn't want to say anything about that at the time, but um, you know what you got to do if you're a seller of especially these big cards, put it in you know a one touch sleeve. They make special sleeves for these. Put it in a one touch sleeve and then put the price tag on there. I'm gonna have to peel that price tag off, and then if there's any residue left, it's really gonna bother me. I'll have to scrub it off. But this was the best condition Clemente I could find for the price. I did see some there that were PSA fives and fours that were way more money. Uh, I think the best one I saw was a PSA 7. I didn't even ask what that one was going for. It is crease-free. It got a 3.5. There's a little bit of edging issue on the top. The centering centering on this card is usually really tough for 55. I saw a lot that were worse centering this. It's not perfect. The back of the card, I saw other ones that had stains and stuff on the back that were 2s and 3s. But for $2,250, that's what I got it for, $2,250. The original price tag, $2,500. He said he would have taken maybe $2,400 if I would have PayPal'd him. But if I would have done cash, he would have said $2,250. I said, I'll be back tomorrow. And I made that offer um, right near the end of the day on day one. So I was like, all right, I got to get back here early tomorrow. And went around to a bunch of Mac machines because I didn't have an extra couple grand in my pocket. So I went around to a couple Mac machines, or I guess they're called ATMs now, of course. Took out you know, cash and went right there and I got it. So mission accomplished. This was the number one card on my list at the national this year. So overall, I think I had a great national. I had a blast walking around and seeing all of the deals. Uh, I've been at the national every single year now since I think 2018, every single year that they had it, there was that one year they took a year off because of the pandemic, but uh, great stuff and had a fantastic time. And thank you very much for watching the videos, folks. We're not done yet, though. we got more National content. We've got a whole bunch of these mystery packs. Anytime I saw a mystery pack in the National, I picked it up. So we're going to be opening these up in a separate video. Let's see if uh, any of them were any good or not. That'll be coming up soon. So we'll probably, maybe we'll do that on Monday. We've got a whole bunch of these slab packs and hopefully there's some great stuff in there we'll find out so thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe button we'd love to have you along for all of our content have a great rest of your saturday night and i'll see you live tomorrow for our next auction and also i think i'll do the new release preview video tomorrow of the t206 low series boxes thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you all later good night everybody